All right, John Blau, lead us off in the Matt Weaver. Hey, Coach. Um, Reese Taylor yesterday was saying that, you know, there are still moments where he wonders what he could do as a quarterback just because obviously, you know, Kyler Murray's out there making plays at his size, doing things like that. He just loved the control he had in the position. Um, but do you see just in terms of how uh, Reese has learned the cornerback position that he's now be able to control things in terms of knowing what he's doing and be able to affect the game and make plays, I guess, in, in terms of that you know, well, evolution? Hopefully when you ask that question, he said only a few seconds and he came back to reality and realized, you know, he's a corner. And uh, at the end of the day, he has a great knack to, to be a leader. Uh, he has great change of direction. And he, he, he has those, you know, uh, those abilities that, that hopefully, you know, will give him an opportunity one day to play at the next level if he's blessed enough. So uh, I just want him to, to, to lock in at the corner position, know the playbook in and out. Uh, he has that toughness. You saw him fit the run last week in, in an amazing way. And uh, now we've got to just make sure we uh, do a great job of just keep refining and keep getting better. All right, Matt, and then Kevin Brockway. Coach, how you doing? Great. How are you doing today? I'm okay. <clears throat> After the Michigan game, I went back and watched it. And the, uh, the announcer, Brock Tewer, talked about your, DV, your corners and their ability to read things with their eyes, what the quarterback's doing. I'm sure a lot of that's just kind of God-given and you, you kind of have it, but – I mean, can you? How much can you coach that, and how much have you noticed that that they they're they're so disciplined and they're so smart with their eyes, and, and they can kind of see what the quarterback's going to do before he does it? Well, a lot of times it's you know starts in the film study, and then you know from there you have to go into practice field, and we do a drill uh, once or twice a week called vision and drive, and that's getting our eyes back at the quarterback, reading him, and uh, seeing where he's looking, and then we drive routes in our area. I mean, you know, it's, it's a lot of pattern match. Uh, Coach uh, Jones and I, throughout the week, uh, we spend a lot of time in our individual going over the routes they're going to see. So uh, based on the down and distance and uh, what part of the field they're in. And so uh, we've done a great job, a better job, I think, than maybe in the past of just going over to certain things that they're going to have to be prepared to, to see. And so uh, this far, uh, we've done a good job of, 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 you know, anticipating where, you know, the quarterback was going to, you know, uh, throw the ball. And uh, we've been in the right spots. And, and a lot of it just doing our jobs. I mean, so many times, you know, everybody wants to make a play. And um, a lot of times you get in these big games, you know, you, 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 the, the things start creeping in your mind of how can I help the team, you know, make a play. And a lot of it's just doing your job. And I think when you do that, uh, you have an opportunity to make more plays. And you see a guy like Jalen and you see Reese and you see Taiwan just doing their job, being in the right spot, and then having confidence in the things that we worked throughout the week uh, is, is going to happen on game day. And thus far, as ha it has. All right, Kevin and Zach. Yeah, Coach, last time we uh, talked to you, you talked a lot about Jalen and the offseason he had and the discussions he had with it. How, how gratifying is it uh, to see that kind of uh, crystallize and materialize through the first three games of the season at the level that he's playing? Well, you know, it's so crazy. When we were getting on the plane the other day, you know, I, I, I walked up to him and just told him how proud I was of him, of not just uh, putting goals on paper, but actually living them out. And um, I'm so excited about the young man he's becoming uh, on the football field, but uh, as well as off the field. And you're starting to see that in his preparation. And the main thing is a lot of times we can get success. And I told him the other day, most people kind of stop because you think you've arrived. And, uh, and this is the point where you either got to go even harder. You got to even watch even more film because now people recognize um, your ability. And so they're going to start scheming you up and do things that they can uh, possibly uh, try to uh, uh, embarrass you out there on Saturdays. And so um, he, he's done a great job of getting his, his life outside of football, um, academically, spiritually together. And I think that you're starting to see uh, the results of that on the football field on Saturdays. And so uh, he, he watches more film. He's, he, he's locked in. I don't have to beg him to come up here to do it. He's doing it on his own. And um, he's coming to, to, to the meeting room asking me questions about um, before I can even uh, uh, get to it. So I, I think when you do that, when you prepare, and we talk about it all the time, preparation builds confidence. And when you prepare and uh, you do what you're supposed to do, you have the, the results that you get on Saturday. And so, um, and it started in during the out of season. And we had some tough conversations and maybe some conversations that he didn't want to hear. And, uh, and they know me by now that I'm going to tell you, you know, 100. And, and so um, he, he took that to heat. He worked on it. And now he's uh, reaping uh, some of the rewards. And, and now he's got to keep going. And that's the main thing. Keep going. Keep pushing himself. All right, Zach, then Dylan. Hey, Coach. Um, forgive me. We've, we've asked you about this probably in different ways for a couple of weeks now. But with, with all the – not just all the, the blitzing that the corners are getting to do, but the impact that it's having both 
certainly against the pass, but even making some tackles for the loss in the run game, blowing up some option plays, things like that. I guess, it, it, are, are there are there differences in maybe the skills of these guys that are leading you to say, hey, we can use them more in the pass rush? Is it maybe just the way the defense is structured you can trust you know, players to maybe cover other responsibilities elsewhere and turn some of these guys loose in blitzing? Just what's, what's making it now such a, a weapon, I suppose, where maybe it's not something you guys would have gone to, you know, maybe three, four years ago? Well, you know, you know football is always about the Jimmys and the Joes, right? And so at the end of the day, uh, even when Coach Allen was the coordinator, I mean, we blitz corners all the time. And a lot of times, um, you know, maybe we didn't have the guys who can get there. We probably wouldn't do it. We weren't maybe doing certain things at the D-line that that, that, um, that we maybe could have done to, to get these guys open. But I think the one thing that you see is uh, we, we've concentrated more on um, um, as a whole of, of, of putting the whole picture together of, of when the blitz, just not blitz, just the blitz, but making sure that we, we blitz in certain situations, we blitz in certain looks, and uh, Kane's done a great job of that. And, you know, of course, that's, you know, uh, with, with Coach Allen kind of looking over it as well and, and seeing some of those things. But uh, what we've seen is uh, we, we've seen, number one, we, we, we've kind of committed to doing it. And I think that it helps out in, in recruiting because those guys get to see that, number one, the corners are going to play man-to-man. -man, they're going to blitz. They're going to play some zone. And um, – it makes it tough for the opposing quarterback to to read all that stuff. And um, we've done a great job of kind of uh, being balanced, but keeping th those guys off balance. And the more we can do that, I think that you'll see more success uh, and those guys blitzing. And so, um, you know, I'm excited for them. I think they're, they're happy about it. We just got to make sure that at the end of the day, when we get there, we get the guys down. So, um, and, and, I, and I'll be honest with you too, um, you know, Coach uh, Peoples, uh, those, those corners, it's amazing, right? Everybody wants to do something that you don't do. Those guys go over there before practicing and, and work on pass rushing drills. And Coach Peeps is such a technician when it comes to that. And I think that um, that's the one thing that kind of just sticks out um, with his coaching. And he coached everybody up. And I think he's a he's been a great addition. And that's another reason why you, you've seen these corners have some success in uh, blitzing because – They've been working with the D-line coach, and, and then uh, he's been teaching me up, and so I can carry on some of the, some of the key terms that he talks about in, in my meeting. And so uh, I think that's kind of what you see right now, and uh, we have a really good staff. Everybody kind of is very, very cohesive, uh, and, uh, and then, you know, led by Kane. Um, we're, we're excited about the direction that we're going. All right, Dylan, then Jeff Rev Youngs. Yeah, to sort of follow up on that, uh, Taiwan was a – guy that said he was kind of working on blitzing more this offseason and obviously against Rutgers he had those two I mean and what makes him uh, such an ineffective blister would you say well number one you know he, he he's you know five nine so you know he, he hides behind them big old jokers up in there and uh he's really athletic he can distort his body to, to twist and turn and get low underneath those uh, those old linemen and then also too man he's just a really good football player and, and when you add those things up an athletic, an athletic guy who can um, 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 make moves. Uh, he's very deceptive with his speed. Um, that's the reason why he's been successful. And, uh, and then also, too, you know, playing defense and corner and blitzing is about heart. Um, scared man can't make plays. And uh, a lot of times, you know, that one play at Rutgers when he goes up and under, you know, that's just him making plays. And, and, uh, and, and, uh, and, and so you got to let him go. You got you to let him kind of be him. And then also, too, contain him a little bit so that he, he stays within the complexities of the defense. But um, when you have it, you have it. And um, you got to let those guys go. And like I said, too, it's, at the end of the day, it's always going to be about the Jimmys and the Joes. And, and uh, we, we've had a couple of Jimmys, and we got to keep rolling and, 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 and see what we can do as we, we finish the season up. All right, Jeff, then Adam Rinberg. Hey, Coach, just want to get your thoughts. Taiwan Mullen, how good is he right now, and how good can he become? Um, oh, go ahead, finish up, sorry. No, no, that's it. Just oh. how good is he right now, and how good do you think he can become in all facets of the impact that you'd want from a corner? Well, you know, for him, the sky's the limit. He, you know, God has blessed him with the athletic ability to do a lot of things that many people can't do. Great change of direction, really good speed, good football IQ. And I think sometimes, you know, when it comes to uh, a guy like that, is making sure that uh, you continue to do the things that helped you get to where you are today. And, and so many times you start, uh, everybody's, you know, you guys ask about him every, every week and he's on every article and he's on television. And sometimes you can lose um, – Focus, and, and that's kind of the big thing that I'm on him about because he's raised the right way. His mom did a great job of, of raising him to be uh, uh, locked in, and 
I got to make sure that I continue to do that. And, he, and he's done that. And I, I think that's one guy that because he's had so much success in his life, he's got a lot of family members who have been successful. You know, the couple of the pats on the back have not gone to his head. And he's still working like he, he did when he first got here. And when you do that, I think that formula is success. Uh, now, you know, he's got to make sure that he does little things like um, start, start, you know, getting the film room a little bit more. Like, I think that is the key to, I think, the next level. Because ultimately, um, you know, of his game, the next level of his game is, you know, this week we're, we're, he's going to face two receivers and uh, number uh, seven and number eight who are big-time players. And he's got to lock into the little things that is going to key him to make sure that when they do test him, he's in the right position to make plays. Because ultimately, th they know his name. Every opposing team knows who he is. And so at the end of the day, they're going to dissect his game and see where his weakness is. And like the last two weeks, we've, we've given up that inside fade route. And so he's worked hard this week trying to make sure that he tightens that down. And, and, um, and, and he's going to keep getting it until he, he stops it. And so he knows that. And it's going to happen this week, guaranteed. And he's got to make sure that uh, he's doing the things during practice, after practice, right, when, when it's not me watching every five minutes to go out there and get better in this game. And I think that's how uh, he's going to get better, and I think he has what it takes. And I expect him to do it. And um, I'm not asking him. I expect him to do it. He knows what he wants in life. And if he wants it, then that's going to drive him to, to make sure he goes that extra mile. All right, Adam, last one for Brandon. Yeah, Brandon, you've been here a long time. What has contributed to the growth of this defense over the time that you've been at Indiana the most? Is it personnel? Is it scheme? What 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 has what has led to this point for you guys defensively? Well, I, I think it starts from the top down, and I, and I think that ultimately it started with you know Fred Glass, and then it goes to Coach or Mr. Dolson, who number one keep it consistent. You know, uh, the great thing that that I've been blessed to do to be here in my tenth season is the message that I, that I came in with. Right, although it has adjusted a little bit based on our our, our personnel, the fundamentals of what I believe uh, ha has stayed true. And so you see it in recruiting, you see it in, in the way these guys carry themselves on and off the field. And now we're starting to see what happens when number one, you have consistency. They know what they want. They have expectations because I still believe that young people will do what you ask them to do. Uh, but the one thing that that has to stay stay uh, in place is a, a constant message. And if you look at Coach Allen, his message could stay, it has stayed the same since the first day he sat in front of you guys at the podium. And that goes down to the players. It goes down to the coaches. And now we're starting to have success. And we got to make sure that we don't change our focus. And you go look at any great company in America, right? At the end of the day, right, you look at McDonald's. They, 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 they want fast food, hot, right, and quickly get you in and out. And if you change those things that you do that got you successful, that's where we, 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 we tend to mess up. And so uh, I'm, I'm appreciative of being here, and hopefully I can stay here as long as you guys want me here. But at the end of the day, I think that that's what our guys know. They know what is expected on Monday through Friday, right, when it comes to, to, to watching film, when it comes to how to be prepared. And, uh, and, and like I said, it starts from the top down. It starts with Coach Allen believing in me and allowing me to stay around here as long as I have been. And also, too, the new guys who have come here, Coach Jones, who I've known for a long time, it's, it's, we just hit the ground running because he, he, he came from that same model. He came from that same uh, upbringing. And um, I think that that's the reason why you see the success that you have uh, uh, in this, in, on, on the staff and on this team. And, and now our fans and our alumni have the opportunity to get to witness it on Saturday. All right, thanks, Michelle. All right, thank you, guys.